This video is going to be an EMF test, specifically radio frequency radiation test of two phones. iPhone 5S, which I think is an older phone from about around 2013, versus a 2019 Samsung A70, I think it's a, the A70 model. The conditions are, there's one Wi-Fi router, there's no neighbor's Wi-Fi. Uh, there's no other smart devices or laptops or anything like that nearby. There are, the phones will both be on flight mode on, Bluetooth off, Wi-Fi on. And they'll also have all the other apps or yeah, apps shut. So there'll only be Instagram open. And it'll be on the same Instagram page, my Grow Sanctuary homepage. And I'll refresh it and, and test how high the radio frequency radiation is. Okay, so first up is the iPhone 5S. So at the moment it's flight mode on, Wi-Fi off, Bluetooth off. I'll put uh, Wi-Fi on and refresh the page. Radiation should go up a fair bit. So yeah, it's not it's not good, but I think the Samsung's gonna be a lot worse. So I think the highest we're getting is around nine, eight. Yeah. Okay, so now is the Samsung A seventy. So it's at the moment set for Flight mode on, Wi-Fi off, Bluetooth off, and it's showing very low levels of radiation. So let's see what happens when I switch on Wi-Fi. Yeah, it's a lot higher than the iPhone. 8370. And you know, I'm not even streaming a, a video or you know, on YouTube, this is just refreshing a page that has images on it. Much, much higher. Whoa, 500. Okay, so anyway, my theory for why that's happening is because the more modern phones, this one from 2019, they are downloading da the data, like the images, the videos, the sound quality, everything at much higher quality and the old ones like the iPhone 5S is pulling data down at lower qualities and so higher quality requires probably more energy. That's my theory anyway but basically what you need to understand and I hope what is obvious from this video is that different phones give off different levels of radiation and it seems like the more recent ones are worse. Thanks for watching. Just to give you some context to explain how bad those levels are, this is a table here that explains levels of concern for different levels of EMF, specifically radio frequency radiation. So my EMF meter was measuring the radiation in milliwatts per meter squared. So that's the line I've got highlighted here. And according to the Building Biology Precautionary Guidelines, which it says here is for sleeping areas, but you really want to apply that to anywhere in your home, in your life anyway. And they say anything over one milliwatt per meter squared is of extreme concern. And so with the iPhone, it was the iPhone 5, it was like 10, I think at the most, 10 or 12. And with the, the Samsung A50, it was like... There was 70 consistently, and I think it went uh, around 100 as well. So that's a good way of putting things in perspective. If you're interested in that, check out the Building Biology Guidelines 2015. 
Now, if you're interested in getting an EMF meter, I will uh, leave some information in the description below.